Hello, today I'm going to show you how to deploy OpenShift Container Storage as well as use it in an application. So first, let's look at the environment we have. This OpenShift cluster is installed on VMware and we have six workers and three masters. We can also see that here in OpenShift. All of these are in the OpenShift cluster now. The version of OpenShift is 4.5, and we also have at this point only one storage class, the thin storage class that is the default for the uh, OpenShift on VMware. So to install OpenShift Container Storage, I'm going to start an Operator Hub. Uh, OpenShift Container Storage, or OCS, is a operator, and we'll be using this to deploy. So we'll choose OpenShift Container Storage. Go ahead. This is a, a very new version, 4.5.0. So we'll hit install. It says that the namespace already exists. I created it earlier. And we're just going to go ahead and subscribe to this operator. So now the operator is going to install. In a short time here, it will succeed and we'll move on to creating the storage cluster. So now the deployment of the operators have succeeded and we can go on to creating the cluster. So we'll click on the operator and the storage cluster is what we need to create. So we create the storage cluster and we need to select the workers where OpenShift Container Storage is going to be installed. We could select all of them. That would um, allow all of them to be used. But in this case, we're just going to select three, which is the minimum required. We also need to just validate that they have uh, enough CPU and memory, which these do. We're going to use the thin storage class to create the actual uh, storage or VMDKs for the cluster. And we'll go ahead and choose two terabytes um, of storage. So the cluster will be two terabytes. So it's, a, it's processing. So now the storage cluster is ready and we can now take a look at a, a few things to validate the deployment. So first off is, um, let's go to overview and we can see now that we have two new dashboards, persistent storage and object service. So those were added when we deployed OpenShift Container Storage, these were added and they are part of the offering. We um, are the only storage uh, available in Operator Hub that actually is uh, totally integrated with OpenShift and therefore uh, you can monitor and manage OpenShift Container Storage using the OpenShift console. So if we were to take a look at one of these dashboards, it has updated now and it shows us that the cluster is healthy, that we have data resiliency. OpenShift Container Storage uses Ceph on the back end and it is a, a replica 3, so our, our resiliency is very good. If we go up here now and look at the storage classes, when we first started we had only one. Now we have four additional. And these are really critical to the use of OpenShift Container Storage. We'll see how we're going to use these in an application deployment, but these are basically what you would use in your application uh, templates and specifications or pod specs to actually claim the storage. So we have uh, CephFS, file storage, CephRVD, block storage, CephRGW, Rados Gateway is an object service directly into Ceph, and Nuba is a object service as well called multi-cloud gateway that has a lot of nice features for going between uh, different environments. If we go up here now and look at the object service, 
we can see that now it also is showing green. And again, this is a very good way for administrators to manage the cluster. So now let's go to the developer console. And what we're going to do is we're going to use a, an existing template for Rails and, and uh, Postgres. And then the storage was going to be supplied by Ceph, actually Ceph RVD or block storage. So I've already created the project here. And right now there's nothing in it. So I'm going to go from catalog and I'm going to search on rail. So I have uh, a template here and in that template, when I instantiate the template, you'll see that I've already added in the template um, the Ceph RVD or the block uh, storage class that we, we looked at earlier. So the size of the claim or the persistent volume is going to be five gigabytes. So let's go ahead and create this application. So while it's creating, we also notice if we go back to the project that we have one PVC here. So this PVC is one which is using the OCS storage class for block storage. And you can see it was just created. And as I showed in the template, it's five gigabytes. So we'll go back to the project now. We have our persistent storage. And we'll go ahead and wait for all the pods to come up. Okay, we've now completed the deployment and we can go back to the project. We'll see that we do have a route here. And if we go ahead and open in a new tab up here, this is an application that uh, allows us to publish articles. And again, the persistent storage is all being provided by OpenShift Container Show Storage. So we'll log in. So we'll create our article. And again, the, the storage that's backing this is OCS. So we've shown that we can deploy OpenShift container storage, and we can also, via the developer capability, have a project which we can deploy the storage via a template, and we will have a persistent volume that is used by that application. Thank you. Yeah.